Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is the Commando Cast, a video cast about all things Star Wars Destiny. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! The next installment of ARH's Galactic Open series, Adram Open, is this weekend, and all this week I am getting ready. Now, my favorite deck of this meta has been Bo-Katan, Kara, and the mission that never ends. Uh, however, with the recent balance and points update that came out uh, on Christmas Day, uh, the question I'm asking now is, is Kara better, or should I actually be going with Rex? So that's what I'm going to be debating and trying to help myself decide in today's video. Hey folks, welcome back to Dice Commando and the Commando cast back from the holidays and I'll be honest, did not get a lot of Destiny in, which means I've only got four days to uh, cram a whole bunch of practice reps in. So that's why I want to go with something that I, I've been playing quite a bit of, which which is Bo Kara or, or a variant thereof, right? So as you guys are all well aware, uh, the mission that never ends, which is a, a pretty critical piece of that deck. Um, they got a one point adjustment, so it's now it's now one cost effectively on that team. So, you know that that forces. I mean, we, we all get it. That forces me to either go Bo Kara with no mission, or go Bo Rex with mission. So, what I'm really wanting, what I'm really going to do today is is I kind of want to break down as we go. I, I actually don't have notes for this. I'm actually going to just kind of recording it as we go and recording my thoughts on. On really where I should go now, the the interesting thing about this is is the value of the two characters, right? So they both they both have eleven health, right? So I mean, let's let's literally just start and go top down, right? These guys both have eleven health, so it's an even trade there, right? They have a one two two. Rex has a one two two indirect, so that's a little less functional. Now, Kara Kara, Kara is better. She she she's she is she's better because. She's more flex. I mean, she has the other direct side. She's more functional in terms in terms of your modifiers. Because remember, Bo has Bo has mixed sides, um, and there, there's a couple other pieces as well. And then they, you know, Rex has the one focus, but that kind of sucks. And I mean, it, it'll get her done, but it, it kind of sucks. Uh, they will the resource and the blank, okay? And then obviously the the one point, right? I mean, you guys you guys see it. Now I, I don't want to completely dismiss dismiss Rex's ability to take control of the battlefield. It's not hugely relevant with Kara, right? It's it's not, um, but you know, is it basically the the question today is is the value? I mean, it's it's clear that comparing these two side by side, that Kara is better, right? Now her power action in in the current meta, her power action is interesting because it doesn't actually it usually gets you a shield, right? Most of the decks out there right now are hero. Usually it's going to get you a shield, which definitely still has value. It does slow you down, which isn't isn't hugely relevant. I mean, basically, unless you're playing on Throne Room, it's not relevant, right? Um, but then you can certainly claim anyway, so. Uh, but for there, again, the power the power action, if you can resolve it against the, the Villa and you can pump that extra damage in, that's, that's really, really good. So she does have that as well. That's not gonna, the power action for me doesn't make or break this decision. What makes or breaks the decision for me is the mission that never ends, right? So let, let's go ahead and just for the purpose of that discussion, equally value their dice, right? I mean, again, Kara's dice are better. Um, well, okay, so let's let's not actually. Let's say let's effectively say. What so Kara's a one two so that's three five six seven. Okay, so it's a like one point one point one six. Is that right? One six. Let me pull out the calculator just so I don't record something being wrong here. Right. So it's. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 divided by, nope, I need to make that equal first. <laughs> Order of operations important, folks. Yeah, so it's 1.16. And then Rex is, we'll call him, 
because it's like what I value that at a 0.7, so it's one plus two plus two times 0.7 plus, focus is hard to value, we'll call it a one plus one equals divided by six equal, okay, so rex is a 1.06, okay, so I lose, each die loses 0.1 value comparatively, right? So the question is, can we get 0.2 value over over the mission that never ends, right? So part of, part of, the, part of the problem in making that math decision, right, it, just from a pure math point, is knowing how many turns or how many times you're going to get to resolve said dice, right? So he's he's elite. So like I said, so there's a 0.1 difference. So there's a 0.2 difference on the character, right? With that, be doing it elite. So you would stand to get, right? I mean, basically the question is is one resolution. I mean, I I think I'm answering the question right because a 0.2, the character would have to last five rounds. In or, and this and that's assuming they go for this character first and not both, right? But the character would have to last five rounds in order to in order to make up that difference, right? So, like we said, Brex is point two below, which means that you'd have to resolve his dice. You'd have to resolve each die ten times or both his dice five times in order to make up that difference. And yes, you're going to have removal, but my point is they're going to be removing both dice. So just assume. I think it's reasonable to assume roughly five turns to make up that difference in the dice. And are you going to make it five turns, right? So I, I think the answer is to run Mission That Never Ends. I do think that's the answer. So I think Bo, I think Bo Rex Mission Never I mean, man, I had never really, th I mean, ba Bassmaster had pointed out to us way early how, you know, this being a free plot really was big, but I had never actually done the value on this. Um, this plot, Plot's pretty good. Plot's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the answer. I think I got to go Bo Rex, which is a bummer because I, I really like Kara. But I never got my Kara spot gloss, so maybe screw her. Screw, but I'm not going to get my Rex spot gloss either because I can't play in that one either. So, oh well. Oh well. Life is hard. Um, so that's really interesting. Okay, so now, uh, I mean, I think I think that's the answer. So now what do I have to do to change my deck, right? One one card I do like, I, I play the Bow Rifle, uh, which is, is pretty cool because it can be resolved as either. Um... So I don't, I think I still play that. I mean, that, that was what I was saying is I lose. I don't really lose that though, do I? I don't lose that at all because it can be resolved as either. Because um, I, was, I was thinking about Kara's ability to resolve. My, my point, my line of thought here was talking about Kara's line of, you know, ability to resolve for the modifiers, um, which is generally only relevant for like Westar, which Rex would be able to support, except for on his indirect. Wouldn't be able to help me out on Vibro Cutlass, though, or Vibro Sword, but there's only the one modified there, and it's a pay side, so oftentimes you're re-rolling it. We lose Kara's Blaster, but that's fine because we're going to backfill. I mean, that one's an easy backfill because you're not going to play it because it doesn't have redeploy um, in that case without Kara, I mean. So honestly, I don't think you lose much. Yeah, that's very interesting, actually. I had a... Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. anyway, I'm just, like I said, I, I, I was just kind of going in, I wanted to record this and, and do it, but, but functionally, actually, that one point that they gave basically just killed Kara, but it pushed into Bo Rex, which is effectively almost just as good, right? I mean, it is it is a little less potent, for sure, and you lose the power action, which generates potentially potentially one value-ish per round, so, so that's not irrelevant, that's not irrelevant. So by pushing it up one, they probably cost you, let's say, what, two to three, two to three value. Okay, okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Two, three. So, so basically the okay. So then, so then let's go revisit it. That would be basically the question. Would be can bow or uh, so we said it five rounds. So that's not worth it because we don't think we're gonna make it five rounds, generally. But can Kara's power action make it worth the? I mean, probably. But I don't know that Kara's power action is worth... Because you get to resolve it no matter what side it is. So, I mean, we said 1.6... Oh, 1.06 is what we said on Rex. So, on average, you're going to get two value rolling in on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, that would basically account for two rounds of Kara's PA. So, it's... 
it is Bo Cara, Bo Cara TMNT is better than Bo Rex TMNT, no question there. But Bo Cara Rex or Bo Bo Rex versus Bo Rex with the plot versus Bo Cara without the plot is basically the same. I think. But it lets you. It's, I think it's actually basically the same. Depends. I mean, it really depends. It depends how long Kara. Yeah, it, it depends how long Kara lives. Is the breaker maker breaker there? So the question would be then, just from a deck building standpoint, is there any reason to play the melee sides? I don't think there is. Um, so I think I go. I think yeah. I think I go. I think I go Bo. I think I go Bo Rex right with the plot because the, the value on the plot is is pretty big. It's pretty big, and it potentially swing games for you. So anyway, there's there's the answer. So. Inter interesting type of casting. Like I said, I really just want to throw the camera on while I talked myself through it and kind of went through the process. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If not, fair enough. I will I'll see you guys. See you guys on the virtual table. So thanks for hanging out today, folks. And if nothing else, go commando.